What's up guys? So the recent discontinuation of the original HomePod has, well, a lot of people a little bit worried and asking, is HomeKit dead? But hold up, hold up. Then almost immediately after that, rumors and articles were popping up all over the internet that Apple is actually now working on a smart home display or maybe a home pod with a screen and then everyone got all excited again and there was tons of articles and photos you know showing what this might actually look like if this ever comes out you know apple is not super clear on kind of their stance on home kit and quite frankly a lot of people are just left asking what is the future of home kit where is this going uh, so this video, I just wanted to sit down and talk with you and just share with you my thoughts and opinions on all of this. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit. So if you're into HomeKit and building an easy smart home that works for you, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because we're doing some cool stuff with HomeKit right here on this channel every week. Okay, so the original HomePod was recently discontinued. Well, does this mean that HomeKit is dead? They killed off the HomePod, so, you know, should I keep investing? Should I abandon ship now? I can understand how some people may be a little concerned as you're spending your hard-earned money investing in this stuff. So personally, first of all, I don't think discontinuing the HomePod really means anything for HomeKit. I mean, quite simply, it just did not sell, period. And Apple is a business. There is no doubt that Apple spent tons of money and resources to develop an amazing speaker, one that no one bought. I mean, you and I probably did, but it's just not something that they could ever really market and sell to the mainstream. See, I think the HomePod really was just designed to be a premium speaker first and a smart assistant second. And I, I really just think that Apple's timing into the market ended up really hurting them. It was a time when Alexa Dots and Google Assistants and Echoes were all coming out, you know, at pretty low prices and people just looked at the HomePod as an overpriced voice assistant when really it was actually a really high end piece of audio hardware that just happened to have Siri built in. In fact, I didn't even buy one for a very long time myself because I just didn't need a speaker of that magnitude. I already had surround sound in my living room and I sure wasn't gonna spend $300 just to get a Siri voice assistant in my bedrooms. So think about it, if, it's, if they have a hard time selling a HomePod to somebody like me, you can only imagine how well this thing did among the masses. You know, I was actually that guy that was waiting on a HomePod mini to come out since the announcement of the original HomePod. And skip ahead a few years and they actually do release a HomePod mini. It took a while, and yeah, I was pretty excited. Apple just held their October event announcing the brand new HomePod mini. Woo! And sales for the HomePod mini were just through the roof. You know, from what we can tell, these things flew off the shelf immediately and continue to. People are getting them to put all over their house for whole home audio and an easy way to access Siri and have that, you know, smart home control also. Plus the updated technology built into the HomePod mini being that U1 chip and thread capability, there really isn't much reason for anyone to buy the original HomePod anymore. Unless you just really want a great speaker or maybe you wanna take advantage of that theater mode that you can only do with the original HomePods. And honestly, there probably just aren't too many people that fall into that group, which means it's probably not worth the time and money you know, and resources for Apple to continue producing and supporting this. So let's go back to the big question. What does the death of the original HomePod mean to HomeKit? Well, first of all, HomeKit is so much more than just a smart speaker uh, or voice control. HomeKit is a platform or a framework that, you know, allows you to kind of interconnect all of your smart home devices and create rules and scenes and automations 
The smart speaker is just one way for you to control your smart home devices. And I'll admit, while I think Siri has gotten a lot better, it's still not the best but it's important to not confuse the voice assistant with HomeKit. Uh, they're not the same things. Now, what if there was another way, maybe a smart touch display or a touch HomePod? Ooh, the HomePod Touch. That has a ring to it. Uh, like I said, there's been numerous articles and chatters about this, you know, since that first leak. But you know, to me, this is just another one of the many rumors out there that has blown up. You know, I think everyone's just having fun, kind of talking about it and wonder what maybe this could be. Personally, I don't get too much into the rumors. That's why you generally won't see me do like a rumors video on this channel. I typically like to just focus on what we have in front of us and make the most out of that. But don't get me wrong, I'd love to see a product like this. In fact, uh, just before that leak and all these articles came out, I was actually on Instagram Live. With, I was saying that personally, I think Apple has to release a product like this eventually. I said the same thing years ago about a HomePod Mini back when the original one was released. You know, if Apple wants to be a player in the smart home space, I think they need to compete with Alexa and Google by making these types of smart home products that consumers want and can afford. That's a big one. You know, frankly, there is a void right now for a product like this, and I think many HomeKit users would really love to see this come to fruition. I'll be the first to admit that Google Nest Hub looks pretty sweet. I'm a little bit jealous of that. But you know, at this point, an Apple home display is really nothing other than just another rumor, something fun to talk about. I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt, just like I do with all these rumors. You know, maybe it'll come to fruition. It might be three years from now, could be next week. I don't know. But you know, think about how long did it take for us to get a HomePod mini? And on top of that, how long have we been waiting for AirTags? You know, we're still waiting. Now regarding Apple's plans for HomeKit or the smart home moving forward, I think strictly based on the things we've seen in the past, like maybe two years, and even as recently as late 2020, I think Apple does not intend to abandon the smart home market. In 2019, we saw the addition of HomeKit Secure Video and HomeKit Secure Networking, both being really huge features, especially HomeKit Secure Video that they've continued to improve and expand on you know, since the launch. And then in late 2020, we saw Apple reveal not only the HomePod Mini for the first time, finally, but a whole you know set focused on the home during that little keynote video and this was done during the iphone event that year which is you know usually one of their biggest events we also saw the addition to that new discover tab in the uh in the apple home app which love it or hate it shows me that they're trying to make getting started with HomeKit a little easier to understand for you know your everyday user and i think this is really important as you know, more people than ever are trying out HomeKit for the first time now since the release of that HomePod Mini. Now remember, the HomePod Mini is the most affordable HomeKit hub that's ever been on the market. I've always said that, you know, aside from my own selfish reasons, we needed a HomePod Mini to help grow the use of HomeKit as a smart home platform. Same reason so many people adopted Alexa early on. They got that smart speaker, at a low cost, and they got some light bulbs, and they got a thermostat or a smart lock. You know, the HomePod Mini really provides that same lower barrier to entry for a HomeKit hub. And if you're already an iPhone user and you get the HomePod Mini, well, it just makes sense to try out HomeKit as your smart home platform. So with all that said, it seems to me that Apple is still very much focused on the smart home or HomeKit, maybe even now more than ever. Now their marketing or communication of that is not too great. I think they do need to improve that a little bit and be a little bit more clear about where they stand and where they plan to go. I wouldn't be surprised to see Apple do some sort of rebranding or something like that in the near future. In fact, I think they should, and I've thought that they should for a long time just regarding the smart home stuff. You know, something like Apple Home just sounds so much better and probably less intimidating to people who don't know what the heck HomeKit is. You know, think about going to Best Buy and picking up a camera and you see something that says works with Apple Home versus 
works with Apple's HomeKit. Apple's HomeKit sounds like you gotta be a developer or something to be able to use that for your average person. They just don't know what the hell that is. But HomeKit or Apple Home or whatever they end up calling it, I believe is here to stay. So all my fellow HomeKit and smart home enthusiasts out there, don't worry. I think we're gonna be okay. And you know, to be honest, if you are really worried, you can always buy products that support all of the major smart home platforms just to be safe. That way you're covered if I am completely wrong about all this. But as for me, I'm gonna keep pushing forward with HomeKit. To me, it's the best and still my preference. And if you feel the same way, or even if you don't, do me a favor and hit that like button if you got something out of this video and drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's kind of continue the discussion down there in the comment section. I'm curious to see how you guys feel. I know a lot of people were worried. I say don't worry too much. I think we're gonna be okay. Let me know what you guys think. Also be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for new HomeKit videos every Sunday. And if you want to support the channel even further, consider hitting that join button below to become a channel member. You get early access to new videos before anyone else behind the scenes and direct access to me and our members only HomeKit community over on Discord. You know, that's a place where we're just constantly talking about all things HomeKit and smart home and just helping each other as we're all sort of building our smart homes together. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And until next week, we'll see y'all later.